because setup wise for me there's good one little thing just to be aware of, i want you to focus more on the downswing okay? okay and that left arm okay but just be careful i think this comes in more when you're trying to give it the power yeah there's a bit of a sway off the ball there okay if you can try and stay a bit more on top of the ball my head that moving. yeah the top up your chest is i mean a long way yeah. behind the goal ball here okay so if we can okay. stay a bit more on top it can move a little bit i mean if your head yeah. was kind of there that would be okay but over there yeah. is just a smidgen more than ideal if we're honest okay, okay? Yeah. as you then come back to the goal ball now the thing is from here again left arm is not straight but it's, it's not okay. hinging that's absolutely fine as you come back to the golf ball now elbow still putting down club comes back to the golf ball elbow is down and now from here on the arm and the elbow to finger so it looks like you've rolled your arms you haven't yeah, rolled okay. your arms yeah. all you've done is you've just got your chest pointed your chest there if the camera for example was looking from this direction here what it would see is your arms kind of here with the arms kind of there you wouldn't mm -hmm. see your forearms rolled over right you just turned your chest and softened that arm, okay? Yeah. Now, the reason why it does go high is because a little bit of weight on the back foot. Yeah. It comes from that sway slightly, okay? But again, a high shot straight, it's not going to be the end of the world, okay? No, you, In you, the you, wind, you might lose a bit of distance, obviously, but yeah. if you can get that club face straight up, a lot of this back foot stuff, though, is going to be something that you've created to try and stop it going right. Mm -hmm. If I said to anyone now, here's a tennis ball, tennis racket, tennis ball, don't go right with it. Yeah. <laughs> just oh, do yeah. that. You oh, get yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's kind of the move that people make to to stop slice and that occurs if you try to stop the slice very often with the left arm being tensed and tight if the club face aims off to the right if the path goes this way it's going to increase the amount mm -hmm. of slice you're going to go off to the right yeah, okay? okay so it's all about squaring that club face so i would recommend if you could do it twice a day for a couple of minutes put the kettle on or yeah. when the brakes on the golf on the golf channel whatever yeah. grab a wedge or a sand iron yeah. literally swing it right down the end of the shaft towards the metal and just swing a fusion with your left arm just work on how that left arm wants yeah. to work get that familiar so you yeah it's, it's not, not something you're naturally doing at the moment doing. it doesn't feel it's not a natural move because again no. who, most people think they're either one way or the other left yeah. or right handed yeah, of course. and then their weaker arms one you're not going to use so you're not really, you can't be sort of, I can't, it's like when you fastest you run right with your left hand, it'd be a bit of a jumbled mess. Yeah. You did it for three or four months, it'd become mm -hmm. a little bit better, it wouldn't become perfect, it'd be better. Maybe you should yeah. go left-handed. <laughs> but yeah, get that left arm a bit more under yeah. control okay. so it can then work in harmony. Yeah. When your left arm was sort of way out here somewhere as it was, your right hand couldn't even reach it, could it? No. So that wouldn't have been a swing you could have made. So your left arm's up here dictating yeah. what it wants to do, yeah. your right hand's trying to fight that. Yeah. So then you, you both sides of the goal swing aren't going to be successful, okay? So, yeah, back swing wise is fine. Same with the irons as well. Yeah, same with the irons. Just stop. So the guy, you know what, I, I was giving advice. Yeah. By a, by a pro, yeah. so I went to buy the Trying place. to roll and roll and roll, yeah. To get my arm back. But to get the club head back. Yeah, the flatter swing over. potentially will create more of a, a draw. But if you do that with the uh, why try and roll an arm to then try and yeah. unroll it through? Well, I've been trying ever since he told me yeah. he, he's a great at golf. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a pro. And he said, get your hand over, so yeah. get, get the head back, gives you width, yeah. and then get and roll your, you know, get back. This through. rolling of the arms but is just. Know, I mean, not, I mean, obviously people teach different the things. The thing is, for me, I mean, I always say, if you're going to try and drive through a gate that was six inches wider than your car, why would, would you, you go zigzag or would no, you go straight through? Go straight, it? Why, why add variable movements to it? Yeah, Keep it simple, sure. isn't it? So, yeah. Does that make sense? So yeah. Yeah, it does make sense.